being neat, tell a friend, blessings never end. So what's up guys? It's your boy Nikki B here from the BNE Clothing Company. Today I'm just gonna show you guys how to press out a couple of uh vinyl logos on the heating press. Nothing major. We're gonna take it easy. So my heat press is already heated up. I have mine set at 305. That's the temperature that I typically use. It seems to work best for me. Today we're going to be pressing one of my logos on these uh, champion shorts. These are 100% cotton. I think they're like six inch inseam, something like that. And this is the logo that we're pressing. It's a double layered logo. So we're going to have to put the back side on first and we'll pop the top logo on afterwards. Of course, my machine's already heated up at 305 degrees. I think we're going to apply this logo on the, we'll put it on the left hand side of the shorts. So first things first, we're going to even this out with the right measurements. And of course, the back side goes first, the black. I'm actually going to trim off some of this extra vinyl. No need to have it. Doesn't hurt, but doesn't help either. Alright. I'm just going to come off the sides about an inch and a half, and same on the bottom about an inch and a half. You're going to cover it with your Teflon sheet. This will ensure that your vinyl does not stick to the machine. Ooh. There we go. 30 seconds at 305, let's put it down, see what we get. In the meantime, I'm going to cut this logo into individual pieces to ensure that it all matches up. Sometimes when you print, print them off on the vinyl cutter, it's not always a perfect match. Stop that. And you have to let these uh, vinyl stickers or vinyl sheets cool off for at least 25 to 30 seconds. That looks really good though, guys. And here's a few of the other logos that I'm doing today as well. This one. This one. And then this one. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Yeah, this is gonna look nice. This colorway with the blue and the black and then the pink up top. And it's gonna look real spiffy. Let's straighten up this a little bit. There we go. All right, I think for enough time, we will remove this outer layer, peel it off nice and smooth, and next we'll match up these letters, and and me, I'm a perfectionist, so I like to make sure they are in the right position. So it might take this a little longer. <laughs> Basically that's what I'm saying. Oh, this is gonna look nice, guys. Can't wait to show you the final product. All right, he's going back under for 30 seconds at 305 degrees. And let's see what we come up with. I don't know, I might put another logo on the other side, but that will require me to print off some different logos. This is all I have printed at the moment. And we might do a video on that probably in a few days. On how to print vinyl and which way to insert it and how to 
navigate through the system. It's not too much. There's my cue. Of course, this has to breathe a little bit and rest, but we'll show you what we're looking at so far. That's looking awesome. Oh, there we go. Let's come back down. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Well, we're out, guys. Appreciate you for hanging out with me, and be sure to subscribe and like the videos. It's always much appreciated. This thing machine won't shut up. Oh, there it goes. All right, this is the final product. That's nice. All right, y'all have a good. Being neat, tell a friend, blessings never end.